Hello and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode, we are going to be making some stone totems. I plan on making some uh, jungle scatter terrain, and in preparation for that, I thought some stone totems would be a, a good addition to that scatter terrain. So in this episode, we're just going to be making the stone totems, and then hopefully in future episodes, we'll be going into the actual jungle scatter terrain. Let's go to the crafting table. To start, we're cutting a three quarter inch styrofoam um, by one inch by two inch, um, making a couple blocks for the totems. Using a ballpoint pen, we're just sketching in the overall outline of what the totem um, needs to look like and where the, the cuts need to happen on the totem itself. On this one, I'm putting a little bit more detail in right away uh, knowing that this will be cut out with the hot wire cutter in the next step. Adding some details to the sides of this piece as well. Now with an X-Acto knife, I'm just sawing in kind of vertically around those pieces. I'm not trying to cut them out yet. I'm just making a, a slice in and around all of the details. We're going in about a sixteenth of an inch. Probably the blade is end up ending up more like an eighth of an inch in, um, but it's just sawing in at that vertical, um, uh, vertical angle perpendicular to the piece around all of the little detail elements. When we get to the hot wire step, we're just going to be setting it for a specific depth and then shaving in behind these pieces. So we'll end up cutting these out um, and then coming back and rescuing these cutouts in, in when we start doing the, the actual build. Now we're at the hot wire cutter and we're cutting out some of the larger pieces, the, the actual cutouts on the totem. Just touching in on some of those parts to give it a, a certain depth. So there I just set it to a certain depth and then shaved off a certain amount on the piece. So where we had cut in with the X-Acto knife, we're, we're coming in with hot wire and shaving in behind them. So we'll actually get those pieces um, removed and glued on at a later step. I'm setting the guide at a certain depth so that I end up with the, the hit line there um, at the right depth all the way around the piece. And then freehanding cutting the actual curves. On this piece, I wanted to then add more detail a little bit further recessed, which is why I didn't draw it on the first step. So I'm cutting this one out and then doing the same sort of thing, except for I'm gonna do it strictly with the X-Acto knife. I'm gonna, not gonna use the hot wire cutter for this part because I wanted to leave that nose part um, attached to the piece. Using a sculpting tool to kind of dig in a little bit. And now I'm using the X-Acto to shave in behind up to the nose and kind of shaving off the front of that face. I've got all those pieces loose and I'm using the sculpting tool to add some more details to the stonework before texturing. Beveling some of the edges to make it a little bit more like rough stonework. I'm using a chunk of lava stone that you would use for a grill and texturing the pieces so that it has a sort of a lava stone look to the styrofoam. Now I'm using uh, tacky glue to attach those loose bits of styrofoam that we had cut out vertically earlier. 
using the sculpting tool on the second piece and putting in detail work. and texturing this piece as well. I'm going pretty vigorously with the texture to make it look like a pretty rough hewn stone totem. I wanted to texture before adding any of the other face elements to, to make sure that the texture got all the way down to that lower level. Now we're gonna take all of those little cutout pieces and glue them into place. Because the X-Acto knife kind of went a little bit deeper than the hot wire cut, you can kind of see where all of those need to line up and be placed. Just adding a little bit of tacky glue to the back side of each one of those pieces and gluing them into place. Once the glue is set up a little bit, I will come back and use the stone to texture the face of each of those pieces a little bit uh, so that they have that same stone texture. gluing on the side pieces as well. The tacky glue works well to hold those pieces in place and they'll set up very nicely. Now I'm texturing with the stone, I'm making sure that the front of those pieces gets a little bit of that same texture. Now the next step, I screwed in uh, some inch and a half screws to make a holding point while I'm doing the painting. And I'm using the black Mod Podge uh, mixture, giving it a quick base coat. The next step, I'm using a burnt umber, giving a, a brown undercoat. That'll just help set the tone of the overall piece. Once that's dry, I'm going over with a dry brush of a gray um, with a bit of a stippling pattern rather than just a dry brush um, swipe feel. The stippling adds more of the granite stone feel. Once the gray is done, I'm coming back with a white paint and doing a little bit lighter stipple, but adding that same white stippling in to, to make it look like the granite uh, speckles that you would see in stone. They look a little bit light right now, uh, but the next step will be a black wash and that will tone down the, the brightness of the piece. Here we're just giving it a very quick wash and letting that dry. Now we're giving it a coat of just white PVA glue, um, adding some flocking to it to make it look like it's a mossy stone rather than just a bare stone monolith. You could stop at the bare stone monolith if that's if you're doing an internal mon a monolith or something like that, that would certainly be appropriate. These I'm planning on being part of a jungle terrain, so I wanted them to be kind of moss covered stones. I'm taking out those inch and a half screws and putting in a little bit shorter screw, um, but these will add weight to the bottom of the styrofoam so they'll stand very nicely and they uh, makes them a little bit less tippy than if you just had the styrofoam. So here's a look at the finished pieces. Pretty simple process. Um, I was pretty happy with the result of creating totems. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. Thank you.